So in code blocks on the top right hand side, we're going to create a new script. And this one's going to just have the interactions we need for the shooting part of the um, experiment. So the first thing we do is create a new script at the top, click on the plus icon, select code blocks again, and you'll see a brand new script appear. Always right click, uh, always click the arrow and rename. Uh, and in this case, we've got a very simple script to add, which is going to be all based on an event of clicking this particular button. You can have events triggered on other objects based on one um, uh, one click or, or vice versa. We're just going to click on events and we're going to choose the uh, block that says when the ball is clicked. Again, we're not going to click the ball, so we need to change the actual element here. So we want to click the foot or that, that cuboid that's pretending to be the foot. And the next one is the physics block. So in this case, we want to create, um, we want to move the foot in a particular direction with a particular velocity. So there's a few options to choose here. We could just move the the ball, uh, the, the, the block forward with a fixed velocity. That's a simple block to try out. Um, we could push our block towards another block with a specific velocity. Uh, we could also push our um, ball to a specific quad set of coordinates, uh, or we could push our ball, um, our block, in a specific direction with a specific velocity. There are also other more advanced options. We're not going to go too far into them. So let's just push our block in a specific direction with a set velocity. So I'm going to click on the push ball to direction and I'm going to change the ball to the foot. So all we want to do is we want that foot to impact the ball and see how that, uh, that impact of an unbalanced force uh, uh, has our ball reacting. Uh, it says here direction x0, y1, z0. I'm going to leave that just as it is. If you're not sure on the directions, click on the ball there, uh, the block, and then click on transform, transformation or trans, um, translation mode. You should see the arrows uh, pop up for your x, y, and z axis. Um, this could take a bit of trial and error, so we're going to we're going to leave these settings just as they are, and we're going to test the model. We we'll press play. I might need to walk forward a little bit. The camera's quite far back, so just do use the W A S D, uh, almost like you're in a computer game here now. And then you can see the ma the mouse when it hovers over the the orange block. Uh, it highlights the block and it also changes the cursor. So we know this is an object that we can interact with. So we'll click on the block and you can see it's moving slightly more towards me than it is towards the ball. And that will continue to happen unless we change that direction. So let's change the direction, go back into your coding blocks. This is where your trial and error has to come in. It might be different for you as well. We know it's on the right axis, but it's just not moving in the right direction. So let's do a minus five here and see how that plays out. You might have to go back and forth a little bit just to see how it works for your model. Ah, there we go. So it's a, it's a minus five. It's now going in the right direction, but the velocity is way too small to have any impact on the ball. There we go. We've had a little bit of an impact. So let's reset that. Let's just change that, uh, change that uh, velocity a little bit, and see what impact that has. And this is where your experimentation comes in. So hopefully you'll be able to build a a, um, a model that demonstrates the changes in mass and velocity, and how that force, uh, an unbalanced force, is interacting with other objects. So let's create a velocity of ten and see how that impacts. So we're now going up by a factor of 10. Let's play that. Uh, 
Now, if you're not happy about the camera angle or position, you can always change that by moving the camera. Let's click the, the block forward, and you can see now it's had a, a very big impact um, on, the, uh, on the ball, and it's actually sent it all the way down the street. Um, so there you go. That's one little tutorial on how to create a foot or a block that might have an impact on another object and creating an unbalanced force to impact the other object. Uh, as I said, have a play around with the settings, adjust it accordingly.